Parker here. Hey, Miss Williams. I'm meeting Gates tomorrow. I'll pick up the. I'll pick up the file. Yeah. I'll fill them in. Don't worry. All right. Bye. This is my city. Population, too much. Home to some of the richest, most successful human beings on the planet, as well as the most prideful scumbags the garbage truck forgot to pick up. But that's why there are people like me. You see, I work for an organization called the ISS, or the International Security Service. The name itself is actually just a cover-up for use in public. We're mostly a third-party military power that operates under contract. Keeping the peace from behind the scenes pays good, works easy, for the most part. Every man's dream job, right? Unfortunately, at times. The work may not be frequent enough to, uh, shall I say, keep one's head above water. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention. My name's Alex Gates, and I'm also an extremely bored accountant. One cover up after another. The ISS cleans up after its own messes, but none of ours. While we work for them, we're still obviously required to keep our normal, everyday lives afloat. What do you mean by our? Well, there are more ISS members around you than you'd think. Attitude, can I put my side with the spirit of a samurai? Coincide with organic elements till I'm fortified. The horror lies in some joints. I explore the high points. Stratosphere, others try to fly, but I'm the baddest here. Battle gear, shield, helmet, sword like the Lord. Floored by the beauty while I saw me home the name. Sign. Something wrong? This is my partner. That's right. Partner. Life partner. Ah! What was that for? Just read the script. Uh, fine. All right. All right. Jake's my partner in the ISS. We both started in the organization roughly around the same time, so our cooperation was recommended by our branch superiors. I hate my job. It's ridiculous. What's wrong with working at the ISS? We run around all day and we save the world from harm and trouble. No, I'm not talking about ISS. I'm talking about my cover-up job. Okay, an accountant isn't that bad. Well, look at you. How come you get the good job, huh? Why didn't you do all the wicked stuff? Why? Flex a muscle through the hustle, rustle feathers, get the pain. Meanwhile, beauty bombs this place, geishas in the days. A classic feel generates the seal, much respect to stay real. Okay, being an accountant isn't that bad. Just strong. Honestly, though. Hey, just drive. By the way, guess who's in town? Who? An old friend of ours. Carlos? Yep. We're picking him up at the hotel tomorrow. Sweet. Thank you, sir. And uh, will that be all for tonight? Uh, we're fine, thank you. All right. These fries are amazing. I know. 
Miss Williams gave me this. It's our new case. Alonzo Samson? From Samson Logistics? Security for family. Keep reading down. What is this? Another babysitting gig? He has enough securities over there already. He's working on a new confidential project and, uh, you know, just wants some extra hands around the house. Keep it under wraps. Guess that's where we come in then? Um, he also needs some uh, family security. His uh, wife's out of town. Vacation? No. He sent his men with her. Um, so all we have left right now is his daughter and himself. I've arranged a meeting with Mr. Sampson for tomorrow. Finally! I hate working there. I'm gonna take a day off tomorrow. Don't even worry about it. I've arranged a meeting for tomorrow evening. Thank you all for coming. I just came from the States yesterday and this is an amazing party. Thank you guys. And I'd like to give a special thanks to my brethren. And I hope you all have a good night. Thank you, bye. Mr. Sampson, this is my uh, partner, Alex Gates. How are you, son? Not too bad. So, I've heard a lot about you, sir. Thank you. So, you didn't bring your daughter with you? She's at a friend's party right now. 
Does she have security with her? Yeah, she has a couple of guys with her right now. Okay. Um, so tell me about the phone calls you've been receiving. Yeah, I managed to get a recording right like now here. Mr. Sampson, my employers do not appreciate being ignored. Our proposal was fairly simple and yet very clear. Stop all distribution of your company's technology to government organizations. If you do not comply within the next 23 hours, there will be consequences. Not just for you, your whole family. I trust you will not contact any public authorities as we will find out. That is all. Um, sir, you have a phone call. Thank you. Hello? What? When? Where were you? On vacation? No. No, you're all fired! We tracked it. It looks like your work is gonna start a bit sooner than expected. Did you examine the bodies yet? Professor Nigel Barnett, forensic Scientologist and crime scene investigator. He's seen more crime scenes and rhythm tracks in his career. Audio engineering is Barnett's passion, but apparently not as important as his position in the ISS. He's a bit of a perk self of the job kind of guy. Yeah, the guards over here. Alright, yo, did you guys go check it out? Any exit wounds? No, we didn't check the body yet. I'll send you the reports when we get them. How about inside? Oh, come. Yeah. They must have known Mr. Sampson's daughter was going to be here. When they got here, they smoked up the house, came in, grabbed his daughter, and ran out the door. So yeah, they were here, they put her in the van, and they flew. Detective Craig Burney, professional photographer by day, investigator of foreign affairs by night. The fact that he's here would mean that our ISS superiors have deemed this case of higher priority than originally thought. Hey, look who decides to show up. Gentlemen! So hey, uh, how was your trip? Trip was good, but hey, you guys missed the party. Sorry man, we were in Jersey. Hey, before you get all cozy, could you take care of the press? No problem, my boy. We gotta leave. Could you finish this up? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Alright, man. Take care. <laughs> Miss Williams, it's Parker. I'm wondering if you could leave us an info package uh, on the case. Awesome. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Take care. Come in. Good afternoon. Mr. Sampson? Mr. Burner. Uh, what you working on here? Don't touch it. It's a side project I'm working on. Alright, don't touch it. Gotcha. Hey, uh, Jake's here. Let's go. Okay, no matter what happens, just give
give us a call, right? Yeah, if anything comes up, we'll let you know. Alright. The Secretary of Contractor Affairs, as well as the ISS head informant of our city's branch, Ms. Rachel Williams. There isn't a single active case file that doesn't run by her before it's issued. Incredibly proficient at information gathering, and really, the only form of assistance offered by the organization. She's constantly connected to the ISS Council staff members and is aware of their goals and intentions. Without her, operatives like us would be left out in the cold. Miss Williams, left us a little present. Viktor Mikhailov, born in Moscow, Russia in 1962, was raised under the ideals of his predecessors in the field of bioterrorism. Mikhailov lived in the influence of his family for a number of years until he discovered his passion for telecommunications. His ingenious ambition to study and decrypt radio transmission gradually led him astray from his family's intentions. In order to sway Viktor's mindset, his father began to exercise aggressive procedures. The continuous psychological torture forced upon him by his father eventually led him to murder his own father. Viktor Mikhailov then fell off the record shortly after his father's death. Information on him resurfaces over 20 years later showing the establishment of an eastern underground crime ring involving transmission interference and telecommunication blocks. Mikhailov eventually developed the following due to his successes among the smuggling of confidential intel of eastern military powers. His organization, while has since branched out into various operations, still specializes in logistics terrorism. We have recently been led to believe that the actions of Samson Logistics has encouraged the presence of Mikhailov and his organization in this city. His goals are currently unconfirmed, however the recent kidnapping of Victoria Samson hints towards revealing the details of Samson Logistics' new project. This is all I can provide you with for now. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay, this guy needs to be staying somewhere in the city. Let's find it and go check it out. Alright, let's go. I got you covered, move in. Roger that.
I'm taking him out. Dispatch, we need aerial cover. This is aerial 2, go ahead, Gates. We're in pursuit. Subject is in a red Chevy Lumina. Yo, boss, watch out, they're coming after us. I got you covered. Wait, he's stopping. He's on foot. We got him. Let's go. Okay, I'm not getting into it. He's trying to tell us something. He's talking. Okay. And like, he's talking, but then I don't, I don't get what, what, what he's saying. What is he saying? Is he, I, I don't what, 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 what I need to know why you were at that specific house. Did you ask me speak? Hey, la jardinero. Who's this one? You're a cop. Where'd you guys find this? Let's get to the formalities. Now tell me again. Why were you at the house? I'm not gonna say anything until I get my lord. We lifted this up here. Our informants have pinpointed the locations of the Samson server buildings. If the master key hasn't surfaced in the next 24 hours, I will give the orders to commence with aggressive extraction. Until then, continue with your reconnaissance. Remain cautious, as I understand the ISS is now involved in impeding our progress, and I will not have anyone's incompetence obstruct my ambition. Report only upon further progression. Alright, truthfully, this is how it goes. I'm an undercover cop, and basically they sent me down my agency so that I could go to Victor, work with him, and get intel. With that intel, I will send it back to my agency. That way we can realize what his next move will be. That's all I know and that's all I do. So why'd you run? That was one of uh, the safe houses. So I just had to get out of the area so they don't 
see that I was getting caught. I need you to tell me all you know about Victor Michaela, and if possible, the whereabouts of Mr. Sampson's daughter, Victoria. All right, all I know is that the last place they took someone, it was at a warehouse. You know where? Yeah, I know the place. That should be all for now. We'll release you on one condition. Anything you find out about this case, you let us know. Get ready. I guess our next step's here. Guess so. Let's go. about time. Yeah, what can you do? Alright, so uh, you told them everything is fine? Yeah, everything should be fine for now. Where's the boss? Not coming. Plans have been changed. You guys bailed the boss the first time, so while the boss gets the device himself, the ISS has been tipped to come here. We're going to take care of them. Got it? Hello everyone, this is Parker. Go ahead, Parker. I need you to trace down Petrov's cell phone. Tell me where he's headed. Parker, that. He's headed southbound on the 474. I think he's going to Mr. Sampson's office. Tell him to get out of there now. I'm on it. Drop it! I said drop it! Me and my boys have been working on this for 15 years. 
You think your little team of mall cops could have stopped us? Drop your gun. Did you kill him? That doesn't matter now. Thought you were working for us. I wasn't working for you or for him. I was working for my own intentions. All right, we should just get out of here now. Don't worry, miss. I'm with the ISS. I'm here to help you. Miss Williams is trying to contact you, but you end up getting me instead. What's going on? Voluntary vacation. My contact has been off for about a week. Anyway, here's the next file. She gave it to me and said that we're all involved. Remember this guy? <laughs> Mr. Petrov. Uh, hold up for a minute. Uh, I think I've seen this guy before. Uh, I think I saw this guy at the office. Okay, first things first. Stop by the head office, meet Miss Williams, and we'll pick up the video briefly. Alright. Yo, thanks for calling RK7 Entertainment Studios. We'll be back. Parker, this is Mr. Sampson. Thanks again for bringing Victoria back home safely. I do, however, need your help again. The side project I was working on has gone missing. I need help finding it. Call me as soon as you can. I guess. You know you did the right thing. If anyone else got a hold of it. I know. This... This is for the best. So, what's next? Well, I need to know that you're with me on this. Because well, they're probably already on their way here. They're given the order this afternoon. The ISS wants to keep just as much as the rest of the world. You better get moving. It's not just the ISS and Samson that will be on your tail now since the news went public. <sighs> Come on now, this isn't like you. 
Jeez. Yeah. Infiltrate the most secretive contracting organization on the planet, steal their object of interest, and then go AWOL. Whose idea was this again? Oh, wait. I know, but I'll be with you all the way. Thanks, Miss Williams. 